javelin impulse drills. So the reason we do impulse drills almost daily, basically daily, is because it's such an important part of the throw. It's that last step, the penultimate step. It's getting you into this power position that's obviously so, so important for your throw. I do four to 40 meters of continuous impulse drills, and there's several, lots of different variations you can do. So I'm gonna kind of talk about some of those and why you might prioritize one over the other. So when you first start out learning how to do an impulse or teaching someone how to do an impulse, you're gonna start by putting on a cone, a block, a shoe, a sweatshirt, something. Go ahead and get into your one and seven position. And your left foot, opposite, our lefty, your left foot is gonna land right right next to the block. Boom. There's your impulse. So what you can do is you can set up one cone, ask yourself to just step right, right next to it, not behind it, not on it, not over it. You're stepping, boom. There's your impulse. A couple things to think about when you're doing this is you want to maintain good arm position. You don't want to practice going like this. You don't want to practice like this. You don't want to practice like this. You want to practice in a nice, Tip next to eye, left side close position. And this is also a great drill because it gives you the opportunity to work on being comfortable in that and being able to hold that. You could do it with a 600 gram ball. I do that all the time. That helps with just general shoulder stability, but also great to do it with the javelin as well. Or a broom. You can do this literally with a broom and a shoe at home. Once you've got the basics, you can go ahead and put out six cones, space them out and each time you go, you're gonna make them a little bit wider, a little bit wider, until you find as wide as you can go with your impulse. A common mistake I see is people putting them too close together. You're not gonna go like this. You need them spaced out in order to optimize the drill. So what we'll put out a couple. And again, this is something you can do in your living room, in your backyard, literally anything. All you need is a stick. Once you've got that down, you can do it with a couple cones, then you can take away the cones and just learn and work on the rhythm. And then once you've got it, you can do it without the cones, you've got the rhythm going, you can start to get faster and faster and faster. So you can do it in a couple different ways. You can do it as a buildup. You can start kind of slow, medium speed and get faster and faster and faster with every step. You could just start right off out of the gate fast and this is something you want to mix up talk to your coach about and how can you utilize it so for me i struggle to maintain my positions when i'm going with full speed and so that's something i work on in practice is going full speed not every day not every week even sometimes these drills are slow methodical sometimes they're routine sometimes they're at a nice 80 percent pace most of the time i would say